Hi dear all, this is your host Akash. In this class, we will talk about the difference between Photoshop and Illustrator. I want to create a shape in Photoshop and want to zoom in so that I can show you how pixel based raster Photoshop works and how Illustrator works in vector based arts. As you can see our shape is lost its data and you can see all the square shape pixel. That's how Photoshop creates its design. You can see Illustrator doesn't lose any data because it mathematically increases its value and does not damage the shape no matter how much you enlarge this shape or zoom in. And now we will discuss about Photoshop and Illustrator in details. Hi dear all, this is your host Akash. In this class, we will talk about the difference between Photoshop and Illustrator. Why should we learn about Photoshop or Illustrator and what is the purpose of these two different software? First, we will discuss about Photoshop. Photoshop is raster based that means it uses pixel to create images. Photoshop is designed for editing and creating photos or raster based art. When the program was developed it was for only photographers but over the time the program has grown to help all kinds of artists to do many different kinds of work. Now Photoshop is known to create interface design web pages, banner ads, video graphics and the original use of editing and creating images for print. So one question may come over your mind, what is raster? Raster art is made up of pixels, which are small dots of color. A perfect example of a raster image is a photo you take on your smartphone. The images is made up of millions of pixels too from the shape and colors. This is a close-up visual of how pixels look compared to knots in a vector image. Photoshop is known to be able to do so much and be so easy to learn that it is looked at as a one-stop shop but Photoshop is not the best program for all types of artwork and design. That is why we will talk about Illustrator. Illustrator works of vectors. These are points used to create perfectly smooth lines. This program is for creating and editing vector based work such as graphics, logos and other design elements. Vectors are a scalable image that can be sized as small or as large as you need them to be but look the same when it comes to clarity and resolution. Illustrator is not ideal for creating multi-page documents and using the program this way would create some drawbacks. Illustrator doesn't have a way to set up master pages the way that InDesign does. This is a necessary tool when you are building documents that use templates. Illustrator also doesn't allow you to automate page numbers. This is another feature InDesign supports, which can be especially useful when dealing with larger documents. Photoshop is a bad program to use when creating logos. It will do nothing but cost you time and money. Creating a logo in Photoshop cannot be enlarged or manipulated in the same manner that an Illustrator based logo can. Type will print clearest at vector based rendering. The Adobe Creative Cloud package has many different programs to create different art in separate practice. Now we will talk about what is vector artwork. Vector artwork is art that's made up of vector graphics. These graphics are points lines, curves, and shapes that are based on mathematical formulas. When you scale a vector image file, it is in low resolution and there is no loss of quality. So it can be sized to however large 
or a small you need it to be it's an excellent tool for putting company logos on business card creating poster design and when photoshopping in adobe photoshop any art made with vector illustration software like adobe illustrator is considered vector art in comparison raster art is created using colorized pixels when you enlarge a raster file with pixel based art too much the edges look jacked and the quality is lost